In this video, we'll learn how to make reference layers in Illustrator. This is a useful technique for times when you'd like to use a pixel-based image as a drawing or tracing reference, or to go from a rough sketch to a finished vector design, for example. In Illustrator, I've got a new blank file, and I'd like to use this pixel image of an owl emoji as a reference to trace some vector shapes. To get that image into my file in Illustrator, I'll click File, Place from the menu bar. Then I'll select the file I'd like to place just by clicking on it. I'll need to pay attention to the Place Options, which should be down toward the lower left of my window. If you don't see those, you may need to click on the Options button to show them. I want all these unchecked, and most importantly, I'd like to make sure that I uncheck Link. This makes sure that the image I'm placing will be saved inside of my AI file. That's important in this class so that when you turn in a file with a reference image, I can see what you're tracing. Once you've made sure all those options are unchecked, then go ahead and click Place. Now we need to actually place the image somewhere in our artboard. I can see my cursor is displaying a preview of the image I'm placing, and what I need to do here is just click and drag to set the bounds of the placed image. Now, this can always be readjusted later, so I don't need to get it perfect. I'll just click to set the top left corner and drag to set the bottom right corner. Now, if I need to change the position or size of my reference image, I can use the Select tool from the toolbar. Then I can just click and drag on the image itself to adjust the position, or click and drag on the corner handles to resize it. And to make sure that the width and height stay in proportion to each other, I can hold down Shift as I'm clicking and dragging those corner handles. All right, I've got this where I want it. So let's do some layer management to make sure I don't accidentally move it around when I start to draw. So I'll bring up a layers panel by clicking Window, Layers in the menu bar, or clicking the Layers icon. Since this is a new file, I don't have any other graphics or layers, so I know this layer contains only my placed image. I'll double click on the name of that layer and just call it something descriptive like Reference. And then I'll click in that layer row, just to the right of the eyeball icon. That's the lock toggle, and I'm locking this layer so that I don't accidentally move the image around or select it with other tools as I'm tracing over it. Now, since our reference layer is locked, I'll need at least one other layer that isn't locked that we can draw shapes into to match up with our reference. So I'll go ahead and click the Create New Layer icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. Then I'll double click to rename that new layer, and let's call it something descriptive like Drawing or Shapes. From there, I'll just keep that layer selected, and any new vector graphics that I draw will land in that Shapes layer. So now I'm ready to draw, and I can use any of my vector creation tools to make shapes that line up with my reference layer. This is the simplest way to set up a reference layer. And if I start to do a quick silhouette tracing with the pen tool, I can see one of its drawbacks. As I'm drawing, my new vector shape is covering up the reference layer. So I'd need to go back to the layers panel and hide my shapes layer to see what's underneath. If I don't want to do that, I could set this up in a slightly different way. First, by unlocking my reference layer, then clicking the circular target in that layer's row to select it. Now I'll activate the Transparency panel by clicking Window, Transparency in the menu bar, or clicking the Transparency icon. Let's drop the opacity of that reference layer down to about 60% then go back to the Layers panel and relock it. Then I'll click and drag the Shapes layer so that it's below the Reference layer. This way, I'll always have a translucent version of the reference image sitting on top of anything I draw, and I'll be able to see everything at the same time without toggling visibility of layers. Now I'll make sure that Shapes layer is selected, and I can pick the Pen tool back up and finish the tracing and it looks like I may need to reset my stroke and fill to the default by clicking the default stroke and fill button right below the color picker. Okay, so that's an overview of how to make a reference layer in Illustrator.